Hey, this is Mr. Pasco with lesson two on networks. And in this lesson, we're talking about isomorphic network graphs. So all four of these graphs here are in fact isomorphic network graphs. And that may not mean much yet, but we'll explain what it is as we go along. All right, so it means that you've got a network that's the same components connected together the same way, but the positions and so the shape of the network's different. So here's a real simple practical example at home. So you've got your laptop here and your two uh, speakers and they're quite close to the laptop. And then in the lounge room, you've got the Wi-Fi router, which we've got letter R here. So the way this network diagram works is here's the router in the lounge room, there's your laptop, and the speakers are very close by to the laptop. Now, if you lie down on your bed with the laptop and leave the speakers on the desk, well, then the shape of this little network changes. You can see the speakers are still close together like this, but you're now over here on the other side of the room with your laptop lying down the bed, and the Wi-Fi router is still in the same position, but these are two different um, diagrams because the L switches position. So that's kind of the simplest form of an isomorphic graph or an isomorphic network. So the connections are all the same, but the graphs are different. All right, now to prove that networks are isomorphic, you need to prove three things, okay? The degrees of the vertices all have to be the same. So remember the degrees is how many uh, connectors are coming out of that uh, vertice, the vertice is the dot. So on vertice A over here, we've got one, two, three. So that's degree three. B only has two connector lines, so that's degree two. And then we need to compare that, say, with this graph and see if the connector lines are all the same, the degrees. Uh, the second thing you have to prove is the number of edges are the same. So this one has one, two, three, four, five edges, and this one has one one edge there, two edges there, and three edges there. No, three, four. Sorry, this one has one there, two, three, four, five. So that also has five edges. So there's a good chance they could actually be the same connections, but just in a different shape. And the connections have to be exactly the same. And that's the longest part where we have to connect. Check that A connects to B, A connects to C. Over on this one, A connects to C and A connects to B but A also connects to D and it does on that side. So look, the best way to uh, work it out, we'll show you in a minute, is using setting up a table either manually or in Microsoft Excel. So look, these isomorphic graphs, just think of it like those foldable ladders you see, and you can change the configuration. So the hinge points and the connections on the ladder all stay the same. You can put it up like this, so it's a step ladder on both sides. You can flip the top up and have a one straight line like this, an extension ladder, or you can make one side shorter, one side longer. And so you can do it uh, on stairs. You can use that ladder on a stairway. So it's still the same ladder with the same connection points. Everything the same is about the ladder. It's just that it's been bent into a different shape. And that's what an isomorphic network's like. It's the same network, it's just been sort of bent round into a different shape, if you like. So using a Microsoft Excel table, you could draw this up by hand, but we've got a template you can use, uh, which we'll put in the uh, description of the video. And by the way, make this video play at 1.5 speed or 1.75 speed using the tools cog uh, on the player bar because we tend to be a bit of a slow talker. But anyway, we'll include a link so you can get a blank one of these that doesn't have the numbers in it so you can use this for any of the questions you're doing. So here's a couple of our networks we've got and you can see they've all they've got the same vertices on there uh, but they're kind of all in a different shape in this one to what they were in that one but we need to prove that they're isomorphic that they're actually the exact same connections it's just that it's been twisted round and bent into a different shape. Now how you do that is you have to go around and check the degrees of each of those vertex dots in both of the networks. So we'll show you what we mean here. Uh, let's see, can we have a pen please? So when we look at E, it's got one, one, two, three connectors coming out of it. So the degree of E there is a three. So you can see we've put, okay, on graph one, E is a three. And then we check out E over here, and you can see that E is also a three. So that's looking good. They match up in terms of their degrees. And you have to go around for every letter. So when we start at letter A here, A's got two connectors, so it's degree two. And A over on this other diagram also has two connectors out of it. So it's also a degree two. So A is two over in our table. We can fill that out if I can find out where my little dot's gone. 
Uh, there we go. So we can fill that out. That's got a two and that one's got a two as well. Now, when you go through and check them all out, how many connectors each of these vertex dots have, you actually find that they're all exactly the same on both of graph one and graph two. So you can give that a big tick that that one matches up. So that's one of the three criteria satisfied. The number of edges, well, that's very easy. You can just count that up. There's one edge here, one here, two, three, four, five, six edges on that. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six edges on that. Okay, so the edges are both six, so that checks out. So we've got two out of three things are okay right now. And now here's the long part where you actually have to check each individual connection. So let's just get the eraser out and clean those diagrams up. Uh, so yeah, you have to check that the connections are exactly the same on each of the diagrams. So this is the thing which takes a while. Step three. All right. So on step three, uh, let's have a look here. Get a pen and let's change color. Pointer options, our ink color. Let's make it a nice kind of uh, purple. All right, so what we've got here is let's start at A. Now we can see A connects up to B and A connects up to E. So on here we write AB and AE for graph one. Now we need to check that those connections are exactly the same on graph two. Now on graph two we can see A connects up to E and A connects up to B. So we've got AB and AE. So those guys are exactly the same, so that's good. Uh, now let's just do another one. We'll just jump to D. So you can see D here on this one. D is connecting up to C and D is connecting to B. So we've got D, B, D, C. So we fill that in here, D, B, D, C. And in the other one, D is down here and D connects up to, uh, yep, D connects up to B and D also connects up to C. Okay, so D, B, D, C. So they have got the exact same connection. So that one's looking good as well. So when you go through and check every single dot and see what other dots it's connected to and write that down in a list, uh, if they all turn out identical like this, then we've got our third tick done. And so we can say that these two graphs are isomorphic. Okay, they're exact same network connections. It's just that they're in a different shape. Uh, so let's go on to our next one. So there's um, Excel 4 graph spreadsheet to do this. So remember those uh, four networks we started off with? This is going to be a big job. We're going to try and check out that they are all actually the exact same connections. It's just that they've been put into a different shape. So we'll jump across to our spreadsheet that we've got set up for that. Okay, so you can load up the template spreadsheet and then you just change it. So we just changed it so it's got four graphs we can check out and um, see how we go. All right, so we've got to do the degrees of A first. All right, so let's check out A. A's got one, two, three sticks here, one, two, three connectors there, one, two, three connectors there, one, two, and three connectors on this one. All right, so A has three connectors on all of them. Okay, so that's all good. Uh, let's check out B. B on this one has two connectors, two connectors there, two connectors there, and two connectors into B there. So B has two connector, two edges coming into it on each of the graphs. Somehow this one didn't get centered. Uh, let's just fix that up. I'll have to try and remember to do that on the template as well. Uh, now C. C has got one, two, three there. Here it's got one, two, three connectors into it. Here it's got one, two, three connectors, and there it's got one, two, three connectors. So C, all of them have three connectors, so that's good. Uh, and D has two connectors here, two here, two here, and two here. So D's a two, a set of twos for D. So that first tick is all good, all right? So we've done number one, degrees of vertices the same. Now, counting the edges, number one's got one, two, three, four, five edges. One, two, three, four, five. So it's got five edges. Graph two here has got that is around the corner, but that's just one edge. So there's one there, two, three, four, five on that one as well. Graph three has this, that's one big long connector edge, all right? Even though it goes around corners, that is just one edge connecting A up to C. Uh, so we've got one, two, three, four, five of them all together on that one. 
And on graph four, we've got four around the outside and one in the middle makes five. So it's got five as well. So we're all good on the second check. Now for the long bit, the connections. Uh, here A connects to B, C, and D. So we've got A, B. Let's get this right. So we've got A, B, A, C, and A, D uh, for the connectors. All right, now in graph two, A connects to B and to C around the corner and to D. So that one's exactly the same. So let's just go control C, control V in our Excel. Graph number three, A is connecting uh, straight across to B, round the few corners there to get to C, and A connects to D. So again, we've got the exact same identical connections, no more and no less. And in number four, Four here, if we check out A, it's going to B, C, and D. All right, so we got again the same connections. So we need to go around and do all of them. So this does take a while. Uh, be patient. B goes to A and B goes to C. B here is going to A and to C. B is going to A and C. B is going to A and C. So we've got uh, basically B A comma B C, and that's the same for all of them. So if we control control C on that. And then if we just um, hold down the shift key and arrow across, you can copy all those in. So that's all good. C goes to B, C goes to D, and C goes around to A. So we've got C, A, C, B, and C, D. Here we've got C, A, C, B, and C, D. So it's looking like it's kind of uh, C, A, comma, C, B, comma, C, D. Now we need to check that out for number two as well. We've got C's going around the corner to A and to B and to D. C here is going across to A and it's going to B and to D. So they are all the same as well. So let's just control C that. Go to this one, hold down the shift key and arrow across and copy those. And one more to go and we're going to be done. It's looking good. It's looking good. Okay, so D's going to A, D's going to C. Uh, D's to A and to C. In this one, D goes to A. D also goes to C, and in this one, D goes to A and D goes to C, so it's DADC. So DA, DC is what all of them do. So if we just do the first one, this is why I like using Excel, because it's kind of quicker, although you could do it with um, pen and paper. So the third check um, gets a big tick as well. So we've got everything checks out, so it is a lot of work. Even though you look at them, you could sort of um, do some rough counts at the beginning and think, yeah, they probably are isomorphic. You need to do all these checks to actually prove that they are, and we have proven that they are, so that's all great. So I think we're getting near the end of the video because I think that's all there is to it. Now I've taken the long way around here. All right, so we've done that one. So let's go on and change our pointer options back to um, arrow options. Gee, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, laser pointer, we've got, we're stuck on a pen at the moment. No, we seem to be off the pen. All right, so here's the questions in the textbook you need to do. Page 197 to 198, questions 6, 7, and 8. So these ones here, you're going to have to set up that Excel spreadsheet sort of table for this and check out uh, all of the edges are the same, that the degrees are all the same for both of these, and that the exact connections are the same as well. So quite a bit of work to do. Uh, comparing graph 1 and graph 2 in each of these, and I suggest just using the Excel template you can get from the uh, link on the video description, and this one and this one. Now, this one's quite difficult. You have to sort of guess which ones might kind of be the same. Like this one goes to F. Uh, that goes to F as well. Uh, some of them don't go to F, so if you haven't got an F in there, there's no way it can be the same. So... This one, you're looking at that one, that one, that one, maybe those four that all have Fs in them. And you've got to try and do all the work to figure it out. But look, the main thing is if you do six and seven and kind of understand what's going on, that's going to be really good, okay? So they're the questions to do. Now, we've got notes over in the OneNote as well. So the OneNote has some written notes about everything we've done uh, just in that video there and showing you. And there is also the template here for when you're doing isomorphic checks. So you can also get it from here uh, if you can get access to the OneNote. And in here we'll put the video link. Uh, and that's about it. So that's it for isomorphic networks. And we'll see you in the next lesson.